Welcome back, I'm Sarvati Pampacharya and today I'll talk about the dinosaurs. What kind of environment they lived in, what type of food did they eat, what kind of food chain they followed, what type of habitat they lived in, whom did they eat, what kind of dinosaurs were there and what dinosaurs actually were. So our group's first dinosaur is Brachiosaurus. As you've seen in the Jurassic Park movies, it had huge, amazingly long neck. It, it was present for reaching the top of the plants for eating the best fresh leaves. It had a small brain. The huge creature had a small head for its body and a tiny brain. Its front legs were longer than its back legs, so its body sloped down towards its short tail. Prachiosaurus probably moved around in a group or herd. The dinosaurs would have spent most of the time looking for food and eating. Brachiosaurus may have reared up on its back legs to reach high leaves. Brachiosaurus lived 150 million years ago. It was found in Africa, Europe, North America. Its length was 25 meters. This, this long neck was probably used for reaching the top of the trees and get the fresh leaves, just as I told before. I have another Brachiosaurus, a small one. The details, the details are more clear in the small one. Both are the same. So, let's move to the next dinosaur. So the second dinosaur is Ankylosaurus. This dinosaur was one of the largest ankylosaurs. It had a big rounded body shaped like a barrel. It was twice as wide as its tail tall. Its legs were short but strong. Ankylosaurus had an armor-like covering on its body, on the top of its body, which was like spines to protect it from enemies. And its the down part of its body was just normal skin. So if someone had to hunt the Ankylosaurus, they would have to make them upside down. The top of Ankylosaurus' body was covered with thick plates of bones. Rows of big, sharp spikes grew along the dinosaur's back, and it had horns at the back of its head. Only its tummy was unprotected, just as I said before. If attacked, Ankylosaurus hit out with its club tail, its skin may have blushed red as a warning sign if the dinosaur was getting angry. This part of the tail was like solid iron, which was waved against the enemies to make them injured or to defend an attack. Ankylosaurus had short legs and couldn't reach up to high branches. It fed on low-growing plants, which it snapped up with its wide beak. Ankylosaurus lived 70 million years ago. It was found in North America. Its length was 10 meters. This dinosaur is Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus was the biggest stegosaur. Lots of fossils have been found, so it was also the best known of its family. The tail of Stegosaurus had four spines which was used to wave against enemies to protect their children and also for defense and also for competing. Stegosaurus was a slow moving plant eater. It probably moved around in small groups. If attacked, Stegosaurus could not run away very fast, so it stood still and hit out against its enemy with a spiky tail. They had very heavy bodies, that's the reason they could not run pretty fast. They lived 140 million years ago, mainly found in North America, and their length were 9 meters. This dinosaur is one of the famous dinosaurs known as Triceratops. It was the best dinosaur for which T-Rex ate. It was the favorite food for T-Rex. Triceratops had a big chunky body, short tail and thick legs. It weighed about 10 tons and was strong enough to fight off even fierce hunters like Tyrannosaurus. Triceratops always lived in group or herd of animals. Young animals stayed in the center of the groups where they were safe from the attackers and the big ones guarded them like a wall. They were plant eater. They looked very fierce but they only ate plants. Triceratops probably fought over mates or who would lead the herd. They crushed their heads together in a lot of turns just like the buffaloes of nowadays. We've seen buffaloes fight. Triceratops are just like them. So these horns in the front and this one in, the, in front of the nose, they were used for fighting with each other. Triceratops lived 70 million years ago, mainly found in North America and their length was same as Stegosaurus, 9 meters. 
This is Camarasaurus. The sauropods first lived in the late Jurassic period. Unlike other giant plant eaters, Camarasaurus had teeth that pointed forward. Camarasaurus was able to feed on the hard parts of the plants because of its strong teeth. Dinosaurs' strong jaws were packed with big spoon shaped teeth. They were big shaped for cutting through twigs and branches. They lived 150 million years ago, found in North America and Europe, and their length was 18 meters. This is Helidosaurus. It was a four footed Jurassic herbivore with a tough hide studded with bony nails, spikes, and plates to make it less attractive to carnivores. It had spines and spikes on its body, just as you can see. To make it less attractive so that carnivore dinosaurs would not hunt it, this was a plant eater dinosaur. This dinosaur was a Patosaurus. The Jurassic period was a warm, wet time. Marshy forests of soft plants provided abundant food for this gigantic herbivore. They could not stay in one place, they moved always. They always migrated from place to place. At 70 feet long and weighing 30 tons, this is one of the most famous dinosaurs of all time. Let's have a close view. This was the dinosaur, Apatosaurus, a very famous dinosaur. Just as I said, this dinosaur is Pegisophallosaurus. Pegisophallosaurus had an iron like covering on its skull, this one, which was used for competing and fighting. It did males for getting female. These dinosaurs fought a lot with their heads, just like the buffaloes of nowadays' time. They would compete against each other. I don't have the proper details of this dinosaur, so I apologize for that. Let's move on to the next dinosaur. This is Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus had a long tube like crest running back, but this did not have a hole at the end. When paleontologists looked inside the head crest of Parasaurus, they found the nostrils ran up at the crest. An animal breathed the air whistled through these tubes. Different crest shapes produced different hooting and honking sounds. Parasaurolophus lived in a herd. Parasaurolophus were very good dinosaurs. They did not harm each other, they never fought. They always stayed in a herd, lived like friends. They were very good dinosaurs and they were many times hunted by Tyrannosaurus rex. This is the last herbivore dinosaur of this video. It is Styracosaurus. I also don't have the proper details for this dinosaur, so I do apologize. This dinosaur looked quite similar like Triceratops. Now we'll move on to the carnivorous dinosaurs, the most fearsome. This is Tyrannosaurus rex. Tyrannosaurus lived in open woodland and often sneaked up on plant-eating dinosaurs as they stood feeding peacefully. It got as close as it could before making its final high-speed dash and pounce on its prey. It was one of the most fearsome dinosaurs. Tyrannosaurus, the name means the king of the tyrant reptiles. Like lions and tigers today, Tyrannosaurus rex probably didn't eat every day. If it killed a large plant-eater, it would gobble up as much as it could and be satisfied for several days. Dinosaur's arms were so tiny that they didn't even reach up to the mouth, but these claws were very useful for seizing hold of the prey. Tyrannosaurus had lots of teeth in their mouth. It had a huge head up to 1.5 meters long. If its jaws were packed with 50 or 60 years of sharp teeth, some were 23 centimeters long. Tyrannosaurus rex is a very dangerous dinosaur. It's my favorite dinosaur. Tyrannosaurus rex lived 70 million years ago. It was found mainly in North America. Its length was 12 meters. This is an average Tyrannosaurus rex. The details are more clear in this one than the first one which I show. It was the most famous and fearsome dinosaur. It weighed 7 tons. The largest of the Tyrannosaurus, the dinosaur was a meter long, four meter tall, and the hips and weights five to seven tons. It was massive as a modern African bull elephant, and it 
and yet it carried a huge bulk on two legs. For many years, one or two complete skeletons were known, but for recent signs, a new animal was specimen. There were also some T Rex dinosaurs found in Asia. They had hair covered on their whole body. Next move. Let's move on to the next dinosaur. This is Spinosaurus. It has been shown in the movie Jurassic Park 3. It was a very big dinosaur. Even the size record of Tyrannosaurus Rex was broken by this dinosaur and later by Gigantosaurus. Before that, Tyrannosaurus Rex was considered to be the largest meat eater who ever kept its foot on earth. Spinosaurus had a big scale on its back which was used for competing. For getting the females among males, they even fought with each other. Spinosaurus was bigger than T-Rex, as I said. It had a long neck, long mouth. The mouth of Spinosaurus was long for eating fish. It mainly fed at fish. There were very big dinosaurs. The hands of Spinosaurus were a lot bigger than T-Rex. That's why they could use it more for catching the prey and also for fighting. They had more power than dinosaurs like T-Rex. This is Gigantosaurus. It was a very big dinosaur, larger than Tyrannosaurus. Its big teeth were an amazing 20 centimeters and long and could slice deep into the flesh of its prey. The length of this dinosaur was 15 meters. It was mainly found in South America and it lived 90 million years ago. It was a massive dinosaur, bigger than T-Rex, very dangerous and very fierce. This dinosaur is called Dilophosaurus. It was shown in Jurassic Park, the first part, 1993. The most amazing dinosaur from the Kentucky formation is Dilophosaurus, excavated in 1942 and first identified as Megalosaurus, a dinosaur already known from the middle of Jurassic of England. But another skeleton was found, which showed the head crest, two thin bone ridge the line from the length of the skull. Their function is uncertain. They were probably used for signaling or for lookout or for look for a mate to other Dilophosaurus. You can see the skull properly. These are those bones. These are very big dinosaurs. Very fearsome. This is Allosaurus, the largest meat eater of its time. Allosaurus was a huge creature with big powerful back legs and a thick S-shaped neck. Its teeth had jagged edges for slicing through flesh. It lived 140 million years ago. It was mainly found in North America and its length was 12 meters. Let's have a close look at the dinosaur. This is the giant Allosaurus. This is Velociraptor, as shown in all the Jurassic Park movies including Jurassic World. It had long necks on its hind limbs. It were used for crushing the prey. They stayed in packs like nowadays wolves. They were small but they were very fierce and very fast when hungry. This is a skeleton of Tyrannosaurus Rex, so this was the last. If you like this video, please give a like in the like section. If you want some other video, please do talk about it. Thank you for watching the video.